In this video, we are going to discuss scripts. Now, if you watched the video over assets, you might be a little confused right now because we already mentioned that a script was a type of asset. But the reason we're actually giving scripts a little bit of special treatment here is that they're unique in terms of what we're going to be discussing throughout this video series. Really, a lot of what we're doing here focuses on using Unity as a almost as if it was a 3D application. We'll show you how to use all of the tools included with it. Uh, we'll go through the, the various definitions of properties and whatnot within all of those tools, show you how to create your own scenes using the tools inside of Unity. What we won't be doing is focusing on or really creating anything pertinent with scripting. Right. What you're going to have based on what we're, we're showing you how to do inside of the this video series is basically level design. Mm -hmm. You get to build assets, put things into the world, make a nice looking level, light it, even animate it in some cases, but that's just a level, it's not a game. That's right, and a lot of our other series, including things like our third person controller system that uh, we, uh, that we also have available to show you how to create your own uh, third person character who can run and jump and climb and interact as well as an advanced camera system those are all very script intensive you could say that scripting is the exclusive focus of those videos and that the the actual unity side in terms of what you're doing inside the editor are very minimal now there's still some work you're going to be doing but it's not going to be the kind of thing where we'll show you all of the various properties and all of the different setups and whatnot those videos will focus primarily on scripting and that's not why we're here but there's other things I want to get across too. a script is not a program now you know it's one of those things where if you're thinking of uh, game scripting you're probably thinking of game programming and you're right but a script itself is not a program because a program can stand alone a program is something you write that you somebody you could compile out to an exe file for you know like a, a Windows machine, and somebody could double click it and it would open up and do whatever it is you programmed it to do. A script, on the other hand, is only functional in terms of the context of its parent application. In this case, Unity. Mm -hmm. As you create right. scripts for Unity, those scripts are only usable with Unity. You can't just grab one of the scripts that you create and go run it somewhere and do anything with it. Right. The, these scripts add functionality to the things that you attach them to. Mm -hmm. They're not a program in of itself. The scripts that you're writing are not going to be the game in its entirety. If you were doing that, you would be writing your own game engine or a game that incorporated its own game engine into it. That's right. And you'll just be taking those scripts and attaching them directly to game objects through a script component. A script component. Exactly right. So I just I wanted to give kind of a, a quick example. Well, I mean, not necessarily an example. I'm sorry. I'm not going to actually be coding. I just wanted to talk a little bit about scripts so that you kind of understand going in that, one, scripts in and of themselves are outside the scope of what we're going to be talking about throughout this series. But I want you to be familiar with them for a vital reason that while we won't be discussing them, they are a must. You must have them. in order to make a playable game. Unity has some amazing tools to make your game development process so, so easy. But things like, you know, let's say you've got, you want to make a first person shooter. Well, shooting. There's no shoot component inside of Unity. There's no weapon component inside of Unity. There's no AI component inside of Unity. And there's no attack. There's no health. There's no ammo. There, I mean, there's no vehicles. All of these things that you would need in order to have a fluid first-person shooter gaming experience simply don't exist. What you have with Unity are the tools that you need to lay out and design those gaming environments in a nice easy way that you can tie into with scripts and that's going to be the key here if you want to make anything interesting in the, in the realm of gaming you're going to need to know how to script in fact uh, even to the point of if uh, if you build a level and you grab unity's already included uh, first person controller so that you can explore around all that is is a script as a series of scripts actually that are working together to allow you to 
do different things. Like when you hold down the W key, you move forward. If you hold down the A key, you slide to the left. All of those things are handled inside of scripts. Right, and those are just a couple of scripts just to handle those that very specific functionality. That's right. You still can't shoot a gun. There's no enemy that you can bring in. Mm -hmm. You can't take that first-person controller and go, well, that moves a character, so I'll put that on an enemy. It doesn't work that way. That's right. So, And I'm, I'm bringing it up here. I mean, I'm not going to have a, a special video over each and every one of the individual assets, but scripts is kind of a special thing, partially because it's not the focus of the series, but more importantly, because it, to make any kind of a successful gaming experience at all, you're going to absolutely have to have some scripts. So if you're completely new to programming, that's something else. You're going to have to add to the stuff that you need to learn if you want to make your own games all by yourself. Now, if you're just not into programming, you're not into scripting, it doesn't interest you, that doesn't mean that this isn't for you. You can still be a successful level designer. There are many level designers out there who don't necessarily know how to program. Right, and with one of the new features that Unity has just released l lately with their last update is the Unity Store. The so, Asset Store. Right, so now you could actually go in and start creating these prefabs and designing your own components. If you don't want a script at all, you don't have to. You could go into Maya or Max, create your models, set them up, bring them up into Unity, create prefabs out of them, set them up, and then take them and sell them at sure. the Unity Asset Store. Or just bring in other uh, assets that people have put together, including scripts, so that you don't have to redesign the wheel yourself. So again, uh, I just you know I wanted to make sure that scripts did get kind of a special mention here, and that's really everything that I wanted to to discuss here. I don't have an example to show you because we're not actually going to be coding anything, but when you are done creating uh, the various uh, tutorial projects that we'll be creating throughout this series, you'll find that what you have is. A nice demonstration it certainly looks nice you can drag and drop in say a first person controller and you can go explore it but it's technically not what most people would call a game at that point it's you know it's a visualization at best and in order to get that game functionality you need game logic which is going to come in the form of some programming code that'll come to you in the form of a script right. and we have lots of other series that teach you how to do that that's right uh, and just and just to throw out kind of a plug out there, uh, a recent one that we just produced was a uh, third-person platformer game where we actually not only go through the process of creating our third-person controller and our camera, but we develop a level and then create the scripts that provide all of the game logic so that you have solvable puzzles. Uh, you've got uh, the ability to actually have the character die. Uh, you can win and lose. All of these things are actually handled through game rules defined within scripts. So, uh, with with that dead horse, I think, properly beaten, <laughs> we can move on. That's going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you very much for watching.